Now, when people think of iodine, they automatically think of the thyroid. And it's true that you do need iodine to make thyroid hormones, okay, like T4, T3. The four and three just represent the number of iodine molecules, okay, so that's true. So number one, childhood development. If the child is deficient in iodine or the mother who's pregnant with the child is deficient, um, the child could end up with a smaller brain, lower mental capacity, a lower IQ, and overall, they just won't develop and grow to their full potential. Iodine is vitally necessary for female reproductive organs. There are many receptors for iodine in the breast, in the eyes, in the stomach, in the salivary glands, in the brain, in the cervix, and even in the arteries. And you can see dramatic results when you give someone with fibrocystic breast or ovarian cyst a high quality sea kelp product loaded with plant-based iodine. So iodine regulates excessive amounts of estrogen. And estrogen can trigger cancer, and this is why iodine can protect against cancer. Now, the ways that you would be deficient is from the diet, because you're not consuming maybe enough seafood, or the soil that the food that you're eating is just not fortified with trace minerals, which is very common, especially in America. Uh, or if you have low selenium, and then you have pregnancy and birth control pills, which in both of these situations, you're gonna have a spike of estrogen. And anytime you have higher amounts of estrogen, you also need a little more iodine to compensate. Radiation can deplete your iodine. Uh, smoking can deplete it. Alcohol can deplete your iodine. And I always recommend a plant-based iodine in the form of a high-quality sea kelp. Thanks for watching.